Hi everybody, Sam here and I'm so excited to finally be able to share with you all my brand new range made to surprise. The first collection is called Wonderful Wipers and within this collection you can create really fun kinetic wiper cards using the dies and the stamps and the papers and the embossing folders. It's colourful, it's happy, it's fun and it is easy to make. So let's have a closer look at the collection. Okay, so here is the full collection. So you have your three different main wiper dies. Then you've got embossing folders, paper pads, we've got stamps, and then we have corresponding dies to cut the stamps out. So first of all, let's have a look at the main dies so that you can get an understanding of exactly what they do. Okay, so we've got the six by six square wiper, and this one has this happy birthday topper die, which is really good. You also have a small and a larger speech bubble, and this is your mechanism. Okay, then you also have the five by seven, which is this one here. So it's exactly the same again, but when these bits fold in, this will give you a five by seven card. And on this one, you have It's Your Special Day, another great die, and these will work across lots of different occasions. Then you also have your smaller and larger of your speech bubbles, and then a much larger wiper plate because you have a bigger area here for it to be able to kind of tuck into. And then we've also given you the option to have a five by seven Z fold. And this one here has yay, it's your day. And you have your thought bubble here. And then you have a smaller mechanism because this piece here has to fit behind this one here, which will go on the very front. And I will show you those, you know, exactly how they work with the samples that I have. So that's those ones. Then let's have a little closer look at the stamps. So here we have the fabulous flight. So you've got some clouds, you've got the helicopter, the plane, you've got the hot air balloon and you have the rocket. You also have the flag or the banner here which will create the flyby that you can attach to the back of the plane. And you have great sentiments like, I always knew you would fly, fly high, flying by just to say hi, birthday wishes, the sky's the limit, birthday hug incoming, don't just fly soar and birthday flyby. Really, really fun stamp set there. Then we have the funky flowers. So this one here, you have this lovely arrangement there, that bloom. You have your vase and your planter. You've got these two big daisies here. Uh, you have a bow, you have this sprig, you have this bouquet of tulips, and you have the hand there to be able to sit with this bouquet. So it looks like someone's actually giving you a bouquet. Then you have your sentiments. Sometimes you just have to stop and smell the flowers. You grow, girl. Have a blooming marvellous birthday for my best bud. Oops a daisy and sorry I forgot. Yours will obviously be much much cleaner than mine but mine have been heavily used which is why they're a little bit stained there but again a really nice size. These are all photopolymer stamps. You get 15 with this one and it's an A5 stamp set. And then this one which is possibly my favourite. <laughs> this is the Amazing Animals. You get 18 stamps here and this is again an A5 stamp set. We have what I have now called Jerry the Giraffe. You have a four leaf clover, a baseball cap, You've got your lucky horseshoe and you've got these two leaves here and then you've got a daisy and then you have Horace the horse. And you've got great sentiments, you've got galloping by and then you can add it's your birth to say, sorry we have here and then you can put it's your birthday. You have happy birthday on its own. You've also got why the long face, hi, so you could have galloping by to say hi. You could say galloping by to say good luck and happy birthday or <laughs> you know there's lots that you can you know change them up and see what you want to do. You've got you're not that old and you have stay cool and you've got that and there as well if you want to use that one. So that's the stamp sets. Then let's have a little look better at the paper pads here. So these are eight by eight. The eight by eight I think works better because you're working with a five by seven card if you did opt for that one. You can die cut your matte layer plus the strip underneath if you wanted to, plus all the extra side pieces here that you have. And this will all make sense when you start to see the samples. It just worked better with the 8x8. I felt that a 12x12 12 12, you'd probably get a bit of wastage. So, and just more scraps really, whereas this one is not so bad. And so we'll look at the Scenes Paper Pad first of all. And this one works brilliantly with the, it works great with all of the stamp sets, but particularly with the Fabulous Flight and the Amazing Animals. Okay, so here you've got your seen there with the hot air balloons which is really nice and this is a great quality as well it's 180 so it is good for your 3d projects as well you can certainly make some gift boxes out of this even some small gift bags then you have your clouds love this one looks brilliant with the hot air balloons in front of it this one here which i love again you'll see this in the samples shortly and i've got these areas here so that you can stamp your animals faces you can stamp a sentiment and you can cut these down so you have just corners of them showing they look really good this one here is another favorite i know it doesn't maybe look much but once you start creating your animals in front you introduce the leaves and things like that it really does start to build up your scene 
Then we have this one, beautiful, really bold, funky flowers, which is what we wanted. Love the colours in this one. And then you also have this one here, which just has them at the bottom. But again, the idea is, is that you can have this towards the bottom of the wiper card. You can have sentiments stamped here. And again, once you see the samples, it will give you more ideas. And then you're back there at the beginning. So this one here, you get four of each, four each of six designs. And then this one here, which is just perfect for any birthday celebration, you know, occasions. And I just love the papers in this one. You get this beautiful balloon scene. Love that one. Again, you've got that empty space there for you to be able to create up and build the scene. This one here with all of the kind of streamers. Love the stripes. You can never have too many stripes. This one's another favourite. Looks brilliant on the cards again. You'll see that shortly. And then you have some polka dots there. You have these ones here with the stars. Again, really, really fun. Like that one a lot. And then you're back to the beginning again. And that's exactly the same as the other one. So you have four each of six designs. And then finally, we have the embossing folders and, oh sorry, and the dies we still have as well. But these are just a great addition just to add a little bit of texture, a bit of dimension and just a bit more interest to the cards. So we have the clouds. And again, this works brilliantly with the fabulous flight set with that you know cloud paper and the hot air balloon paper you can kind of mix it all together and this is a five by seven but then you also have the confetti with the five by seven again love that one works perfectly for lots of different occasions you can use it for weddings and obviously for birthdays then you've got this one here which is your zigzag really nice effect looks great on the cards and then you've got your balloons here with the stars again very very fun and those two again I think I mentioned that both are six by six. And then lastly, just your corresponding die. So we've done this separate because, you know, lots of people do have digital cutting machines. You know, you don't have to buy them, but you might just want to buy the stamps if you do want to cut them yourself. So here is your dies for the fabulous flights. You've got the rocket, the hot air balloon, the plane and the helicopter. Then you've got funky flowers. So you get six here, you've got the bloom, you've got the bigger of the daisy, you've got the bouquet, the hand, and then the tall vase. And then this one here, you have April and Horace, baseball cap, the daisy, and the lucky horseshoe. So let me show you the fun samples that I've been creating with all of this product. So these are some of the cards I've made using the five by seven die set. So this one here is using the giraffe and you'll notice that I actually have this one as a reverse image. And there's a really fun technique that I will show you in I think the first tutorial that will be going up using this collection. And I show you how to create this reverse technique, stamp, you know, stamping technique. But you can see there with the baseball caps on, it gives them a very youthful look. This is perfect for, you know, those younger cards, teenagers and so on. So it's your special day and then out pops the speech bubble. You're not that old. I just think it's so much fun. It's kind of unexpected, I think, when the person receives the card. And the great thing with these is, is on the back, you have all this space here to be able to stamp and write your message. I've colored these all with colored pencils. It's my kind of favorite thing that I like to use. And you'll see the pattern paper behind here is just some of that star one. You see the little star and the, the, um, the polka dots there, just to give you a little bit of color. But I really want those stamps to stand out. And then the daisies there, just to kind of fill the bottom of the, the neck. It's your special day. I think the stamp, the, the die sentiments are really nice. I like to build them up. So you'll see there's quite a lot of dimension on that as well, but it looks really nice. And can you see the glossy accents? Just highlighting the eyes and the centers of the flowers there. Again, just brings in a little bit more interest to the card. Then this one here is using funky flowers. So I've colored all the centers of the funky flowers with some, well, I didn't color them. I've added some glue and used glitter. And then I've stamped that sentiment. Sometimes you just have to stop and smell the flowers. Have a blooming marvelous birthday. <laughs> I think it's really fun and I've continued there onto the sides with that lovely pattern and then again on the back you have all that space. This one here is using the Fabulous Flight. This is actually the embossing folder as the background not the paper and I show you again you'll see it in one of the tutorials I show you a really nice technique to be able to ink the background but still have that raised cloud effect. I've added the birds and then you have that playing with the flyby there, birthday flyby. I've put them on some foam so they've just got a bit of dimension. And then when it pops up, two more hot air balloons pop out the top. And it's just such a fun card to do. And then this one is showing you just other ways to use the card. So I've actually cut the aperture in the center here. All right, so I've, that the piece I cut out, I've actually just stuck inside there. So it looks like that pattern paper's running throughout. Added the leaves, this sentiment again, it's your special day. And then when you pull it, out pops the giraffe. 
And I just think, again, it's quite unexpected to be there hidden behind that acetate. I just think it's really, really cool. So that's just some inspiration and just some of the examples of the cards that you can make using the five by seven. Then I've got the six by six here. So you'll see what I meant about cutting just like a corner of the paper pad out. And then I've done a little kind of arrangement here with Horace and he's saying there with one of the speech bubbles galloping by to say good luck. And then his friend pops out the top. <laughs> There's just something about his face, it just makes you smile. He's got nothing with him, no speech bubble. You could just have him on his own popping out, you know. <laughs> it could be quite a serious card and if you just want to add a smile to someone, having him pop out the, you know, the top of it I think is just brilliant. Again, you can see I've added some of the glossy accents there onto the four leaf clovers, the centres of the flower, on his eyes. Again, lots and lots of fun. And you've got all that space. I've just used some of the holographic cardstock there just to shape the back a little bit more, give it a bit more interest. I just think it's so much fun. So that's that one. This one's using the funky flowers and I'm using that bouquet. So the, the die that you get with the six by six is this one here, the happy birthday. Again, I've got some glitter on there. I'm not sure how well it's picking up and it's all raised up. But this one out pops the hand with another bouquet. And I just think it's so much fun again, just that unexpected little surprise that pops out the card, you know, and having all of those layered up gives you a really lovely effect. I've shaped them all so there's again dimension to them all there. It's just lots going on, so you know, it looks quite simple I guess in a sense, but then as soon as that pops up, you get that. I think it's great. And on this one you'll see there's the confetti embossing folder and also on the back there as well, and all that space to write your message. And then this one, Again, I've cut an aperture in the middle here. This one says, happy birthday, stay cool. And then with this one, out pops another giraffe with a pink baseball cap. Again, I think it's so much fun. And I should also say that all of these do stand up. My mat's a little bit wobbly here because it's warped, but they do all stand up when they're open. So you really get to show off all of that, you know, fun detail. So that's using some of them again, using the six by six, a bit more inspiration. And then here are some cards I've made using the Z fold. So this is using the Fabulous Flight. I've used the Yay, It's Your Day, and I've die cut that with my holographic cardstock. I've done three of the hot air balloons. These ones I actually coloured using alcohol markers. And this is using the pattern paper. So again, just to show you how that looks. And then this one, out pops the wiper, and it's got the rocket, and it says, I always knew you would fly. And I just want to show you here that you don't always have to build up on the wiper piece. You can actually use it to stamp and show off your sentiment. I think that's a really nice effect. And again, it does all stamp stand up really nicely when it's open. Then I've got this one here, again using that lovely pattern paper and you've got the stripe. So you've got your giraffe here which I've just stuck directly there towards the bottom um, right of the, uh, the corner of the card there and then pops out another giraffe. So much fun. But you could have a sentiment, you could have a speech bubble popping out of there. Then that's the same one again but just with different papers. So you can see Lots and lots of fun. And then I just wanted to show you how you can turn it into a double wiper. So this one went very kind of over the top with all the leaves there. And then two of them pop out at the same time. I think this is one of my favourite cards. Just lots and lots of fun. Always makes me smile. And again, you see all the glossy accents and all that detail on the card. Super, super fun. You've got your uh, Z fold, 5x7 and 6x6. But what I also wanted to show you is how you can make really lovely cards just using the stamps and the papers and the dies. So here I've just put together, I'll bring them all in because I've done quite a few, just to give you some more ideas on what you can do with the stamps. This one I really love. So this is just using the rockets and the cloud embossing folder and I just kind of cut around it just to create that kind of fluffy cloud scene and then the rockets are just kind of coming out from the clouds off into space and then I've done a bit of a moon effect there with a simple circle but just to give you an idea don't just fly soar. I've put that on some foam and all of these are on little wobblers you know, it's a pretty basic card, but it just shows off those really fun rockets really nicely. Just blended a little background there just to look like you're going off into space. And that's just on a normal five by seven card. So I think that's lovely. Now I've got a little note card here, which just says you grow girl. And it's using the bouquet or the, this is more of the, the it is a bouquet, I guess. So it's an arrangement of the flowers and that's in the little planter using some of that pattern paper. And I've put some glitter again in the centers. I think that's a really nice, pretty little card. Then I've got this one here, 
just pop that out. So this one says, oops a daisy, sorry I forgot. <laughs> There's a big cheesy grin from Horace the horse there. I think it's very, very fun. Covered, you know, with all the daisies around him there. But this is just one of those pop out or floating pop boxes that I've got. I show you how to make this on my channel. I'll link it along here somewhere along the way if you would like to recreate that card. You've got lots of room on the back to be able to stamp your message. But I think it just, you know, he pops out there. It's just, it's so much fun. Again, always makes me smile. Then I've got some more simple ones again. So this shows off the zigzag embossing folder. And then I've just stamped and done a bit of masking so that that's just one stamped image with the hand with the bouquet there. And it just says, for my best bud. A little bit of twine, some Nouveau drops, laid it up. I think it's a really nice card, just using one of the little stamps there. That's another version, just without the frame. So that one needs to go over there, actually. Then I've got this one. So again, I've done some masking. I stamped April there and built up all the leaves around her. The daisies there on some foam, and then this one says, it's your birthday, why the long face? <laughs> Brilliant. And then I have this one, really like this one. So I've used the bloom paper. I've just cut an aperture in the center. And then with this piece here, which is from the papers, I just fussy cut it. And I've attached it where it was on the paper anyway. I popped some little bits of string here to attach to the bottom of the balloons. And again, happy birthday, you're not that old. <laughs> and then you've got your striped paper inside there. Lots of fun. And then this one here, so I've actually embossed the front of the card there using the clouds. You can just about make it out here. That's the cloud embossing folder. Again, with the plane, with the flyby, you've got the rocket and some of the emboss um, the hot air balloons there with the birds. There's a sheet of acetate there. And inside there, I've just got the cloud paper. But again, a really nice, effective card. That's everything, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my new range, Made to Surprise. There are even more cards, more inspiration, and they will be shared in the blog post, which you will find linked below this video. There will be more videos showing you some of the cards that I've shown here today, so you know exactly how to put them together, and that those videos will always be there for you to go back to and reference. Yeah, I love it. It's just, like I said, hopefully this is a good representation of me and my style. I am very bold and colourful and I hope I've put that across within this collection. So thank you for watching and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. Bye.